Hello everyone. Welcome to another smart money video. Watching this video can save you potentially millions, so do not skip it. At the end of the video, we are going to share a very important investment lesson, which can make or break your investment portfolio. Miss it and you are at risk of losing a lot of money in investment. You must be flooded with multiple advice on TV, newspaper, YouTube channels, real estate agents, stockbrokers, or wealth advisors talking about various investment opportunities. They all promise you fantastic returns on investments, luring you into believing that this is the best thing for you. Most of us fall for this trap. Why? Because there is one very important secret that they do not disclose. It is such a pity that people fall into this trap. Every year, billions of dollars are lost in investment as this secret is not known to people. What is this secret? Do you have to go to an Ivy League business school to understand this secret? No, not at all. This is extremely easy to understand, and we will explain this to you in next 5 minutes. Today, we are delving into an essential topic for all investors, risks in investment. You must understand that every investment comes with an element of risk. There is no investment which does not have any risk. Whether you are 10 years old or 100, understanding these risks will help you make smarter investment decisions. So, let us begin our journey into the world of investment risks. Let me explain this with a simple example of a local business someone has started. Imagine you're a 10-year-old entrepreneur, and you decide to start a lemonade stand. You invest your pocket money to buy lemons, sugar, and cups. You set up your stand excitedly, hoping to sell refreshing lemonade. But what if it rains all day? Or what if a bigger lemonade stand opens right next to yours? These are examples of risks you face as a young entrepreneur. Similarly, investments also come with risks that you need to understand. What is risk in investment? At its core, risk in investment refers to the uncertainty that your investment may not perform as expected, and you could potentially lose some or all of your money. It is like jumping on a trampoline, you might go up high and enjoy it, but there is always a chance of landing with a thud. However, taking risks is an essential part of investing. As Warren Buffett once said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. So, let's explore the different types of risks in investment to help you make more informed choices. 1. Market risk, market risk, also known as systematic risk, is the risk that your investment may be affected by overall market movements. Think of it as a roller coaster ride for your investments. When the market is doing well, your investments may soar, but during market downturns, they may take a dip. Market risk can impact all investments, such as stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. For example, if you invested in a company's stock and the entire stock market experiences a downturn, the value of your investment may decline. So, there is a possibility of you losing your capital also. There are many examples of people losing every penny due to slide in the market. There is a common myth that only stock market has this risk. Market risk can impact your bonds, real estate or commodities like gold also. The prices of these assets may also fluctuate leading to a scenario where you may end up losing money. Reasons of market risk could be economic slowdown, interest rate fluctuations, political uncertainty, or even a global pandemic attack. One has to be careful about market risk. We all have heard the stories of banks going bankrupt and depositors losing money. Not long ago, we had the global financial crisis triggered by Lehman Brothers collapse, which was largely due to the credit risk. Credit risk is the risk that a borrower may not be able to repay their debt obligations. This could be due to inability to repay or even due to bad intent. We all have friends or relatives who have borrowed from us, and we have never seen them again. Let us go back to your lemonade stand example. Imagine someone borrows money from you to buy lemons, but then they do not pay you back. That is credit risk. In the investment world, Credit risk applies to bonds and loans. When you invest in bonds issued by a company or government, there is a chance they might default on their interest or principal payments. 3. Inflation risk Inflation means rising prices, which is almost a certainty. There are countries where inflation has gone out of hand leading to civil unrest. 
Governments and central banks across the globe are extremely sensitive about managing inflation. What is inflation risk? Inflation risk is the risk that the purchasing power of your money decreasing over time due to rising prices. Picture yourself buying lemons for your lemonade stand. If lemon prices increase, you might have to pay more for the same number of lemons, eating into your profits. In the investment world, inflation can erode the real value of your returns. For example, if you invest in a savings account that earns 2% interest, but inflation is at 3%, the purchasing power of your money will decrease. If return on your investment is less than inflation, actually you are losing money every year even by getting a return as you will be able to buy lesser even with the increased money added by returns on investment. Fourth, liquidity risk, has it happened to you that while you have money locked in investments or banks, there is little money in hand to pay for your needs? This is liquidity risk. Liquidity risk is the risk that you may not be able to sell your investment quickly enough without incurring significant losses. Imagine you need money urgently to buy more lemons, but you cannot find any customers to buy your lemonade stand. That is liquidity risk. In the investment world, some assets may be harder to sell quickly, leading to potential losses. For example, real estate or unlisted shares. Will you be able to sell your house quickly if you need money? Answer is no. Or you may have to do a distress sell at a lower price. 5. Concentration risk Do not put all your eggs in the same basket, this is an age-old adage. Why do people say so? If basket falls, one runs the risk of losing all the eggs. This is concentration risk putting all or large part of your investment in one asset class or one company or bank. Then your fortunes are tied to the fortune of that company or asset class. And here is the most important piece of advice which we promised at the beginning of the video, risk comes from greed and ignorance. There is no investment on earth which can give you high return at low risk. No such investment exists anywhere in this world. So, if anyone is trying to sell you this idea, be very careful. Be very very careful so that you do not fall into this trap. Now you have successfully known the types of risks in investment, so ignorance part is taken care of. However, knowing about them is not enough. It is like general knowledge with no actionable. We should also learn how to manage these risks by making smarter financial choices. As Warren Buffett wisely said, risk comes from not knowing what you are doing. We will talk about managing these risks in our next video on managing risks. Do not forget to watch that save yourself from losing your investments. And do not forget to like and subscribe so that you do not miss these important lessons, that is another risk you run. Thank you for joining us in this journey of financial wisdom. Look forward to you in our next video on managing risk.